Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today I got an ultra light sleeping pad from Climate. It's their Inertia X frame, so stick with me. You can see how incredibly small this sleeping pad packs down. It's the world's lightest and most compact full-size sleeping pad on the market. It's a full-size three-season sleeping pad weighing in at just 9.1 ounces and it packs down to the size of a Coke can. I was skeptical that it would be comfortable due to the size that it packs down and the cutouts in the pad as you'll see in a moment. The sleeping pad comes with a stuff sack with the repair kit inside and then also a pump. The Inertia X-Frame is very durable. It uses 30D ripstop on the top and 75D ripstop on the bottom. So it's gonna be very durable and puncture resistant. When you unfold the pad, there's two nozzles. One that locks by pushing and pulling, which you can also use to self-inflate the pad. And then also a pressure release valve on the other side where you can hook up the pump to get additional pressure. So to inflate it, we can just open the valve and then blow into it. It only takes a few breaths. So that was about three and a half breaths and then you just close the nozzle. If you wanna add some more pressure, you can use the included pump. You just take off the cover here, now you wanna hang on to this so that dirt and debris doesn't get into the valve there. And then you simply take your pump and press it onto the nozzle. And then you can go ahead and give yourself some extra pressure. If you wanna let some air out to adjust it for comfort, you just press this button here and it lets the air out slowly. If you wanna let all the air out in the frame and when you're gonna pack it up, then you would just release this nozzle as well and fold it up. Now what makes this pad the smallest and lightest on the market is these cutouts, which they call loft pockets. Now basically what that does is it allows your sleeping bag to lay over the top and then actually retain its loft by filling in these voids so that you're not compressing down your sleeping bag. Your sleeping bag is, is able to maintain that loft within these channels. So not only does it make it ultra light and ultra compact, it actually keeps you warmer by maintaining that loft in your sleeping bag. You can use this under your sleeping bag and then also will have the same effect if you slip it in your sleeping bag and the, the sleeping bag will still maintain its loft underneath you. Now Climate uses body mapping technology to design their pads. So the cutouts are strategically placed so that on your pressure points, you still have support in your feet, your legs, your butt, your shoulders, and your head. So since this pad is designed with a taper, it'll work with regular sleeping bags as well as mummy style bags. One way to use it is obviously by putting it underneath your sleeping bag. Like I said, the loft of your sleeping bag is, a, is able to be maintained because in these pockets, there is no compression on your sleeping bag, which causes a sleeping bag to become colder and lose its loft. Another thing you can do is just slip the pad right inside your sleeping bag and sleep right on top of it. Even when it's in the sleeping bag, you're still gonna maintain those areas of loft, keeping your sleeping bag nice and warm. It also helps ensure that the pad doesn't slide around when you put it in your sleeping bag. So to stow it away, it's very simple. You just undo the nozzle here, make sure that it's twisted to the left and then unlocked. And you simply just fold and roll the air out. Combine the X-Frame with a small sleeping bag and you've got yourself a super portable and lightweight sleep system for camping, hiking, backpacking, and bugging out in survival kits. 
So the Inertia X-Frame is one awesome pad. Like I said, I was skeptical that something so small and something with those cutouts would be comfortable. But I slept on it for two nights and it was very comfortable. I didn't notice much difference between that and other inflatables that I've tried. And I certainly am digging the fact that it's super lightweight and very packable in just about any pack. In my opinion, a sleeping pad is a must have when hiking, camping, or backpacking. It's a luxury item when it comes to surviving or in a bug out bag, but something that small and that lightweight, you can't go wrong by packing it in there. And we all know that comfort goes a long way in a survival situation. With the strategically placed cutouts, I hardly even noticed that the cutouts were there. And it certainly makes sense that it would retain the loft in your sleeping bag, making it that much warmer. I slept on my back, my stomach, and both sides, and I didn't notice that the pad moved around very much. Now, I did have another pad on the side of me and the tent wall on the other side, so it might move around a little bit more if you were sleeping solo. I've tried the closed cell foam mattresses, the inflatables, and also the down mats. In the wintertime, when it's really cold, I'm going with the down mat. But for three seasons, in the summer, spring, and fall, when I want a lightweight option, the Inertia X-Frame is hard to beat. The nice thing is, if it moves around on you, you can simply insert it into your sleeping bag and you're good to go. I'm gonna put some links below to Climate's website where you can check out some of their other products, their other sleeping pads, as well as more information on the Inertia X-Frame and current pricing. If you wanna see the X-Frame in action, I'm gonna put a link below to my second channel where you can see this past weekend's camping trip and my use of the Inertia X-Frame. I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Please share it on all your social media, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. And as always, guys, subscribe for more videos.